There are a number of different types of sprinkler valves, but they all work off the same basic concept. As the pressure builds up behind the inlet valve, it also builds up pressure behind the diaphragm. When you release the pressure from the diaphragm, it allows the pressure from the inlet side to open the valve and flow through in one big hit. Once I had it all apart, the first step was to make sure that the double sided screw fitting fit in. The next step was to jam some toothpicks in the inlet holes and then fill the whole area with epoxy. I used a quarter inch male air pipe fitting for the blow gun to attach to. I then used the leftover epoxy to seal it up and make it fully airtight. Once I had applied the epoxy, I left it overnight to dry. Once the epoxy is dried, it's important to make sure there's no epoxy or sharp edges on the underside that could pierce or damage the diaphragm. And that's pretty much it, it's good to go. Oh, that went to the other side of the creek. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You see it? Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers.